everything without offending. So now my mouth is in the jailhouse with cases pending. First Amendment, you replaced it, rigged it, dubbed it down. It's not an option. Some of it I understand. Take a power from me. What is going on, SMT Nation? We back. We're doing some speed testing for you here. After something good has happened over, seemingly overnight, I'm not sure exactly, uh, but all of a sudden the Google Pixel 7 Pro is picking up 5G ultra wideband in the lower level on the furthest segment of you know, the, the lower level where it wasn't getting it previously. So I wanted to show you guys, and I don't know if this is just a phone update, something that came in, carrier services related or whatever, uh, or if it's just Verizon tuning the site better, maybe, I don't know. Or maybe there's a firmware update on the Samsung radio gear, I don't know. But it's performing great in the lower level. I'm impressed, this is nuts. 286 down, 22 up, and we got a ping time of 24 millisecond and a jitter of three millisecond. It wasn't working before. The iPhone started to pick it up a couple of weeks ago. So it, it was kind of a separator, you know, a little bit that the iPhone was doing a bit better with the antennas, uh, the 5G antennas and stuff like that. So uh, looks like the Pixel has officially joined the show possibly. So maybe it's a, a Pixel thing, a carrier services thing. Maybe it's a radio gear thing with like Verizon tuning uh but the engineers seem to be just getting this this connection this 5g ultra wideband going and it, it really is impressive i think the most impressive part actually is the uplink i mean we're a mile away folks the site's a mile away we're in the lower level i i'm absolutely impressed i mean let's talk about how like you know some people are gonna have to start eating crow about this three gigahertz c-band stuff here right 29 ping four jitter almost 300 megabits down we got 25 up uh this is absolutely impressive i'm really happy from like a technology side uh just you know thrilled with the way that this connection is progressing it seemingly gets better all the time and it's a relatively new connection they've only been using this n77 channel for like basically a year the site's been on since the midsummer and it just continues to get better uh, main level, upper level, speeds and capacity and throughput continue to improve. Now it's working lower level on both the iPhone and the Google Pixel 7 Pro. I am thrilled with the performance. A lot, Like I said, a lot of people are going to have to eat, start eating crow about N77 C-Band. It is uh, punching way above uh, what it probably should currently. Uh, but it's progressing and evolving fast. It's getting better with time. It's like a fine wine. Just continuing to improve and perform. Uh, Goldilocks indeed, 3.7 gigahertz, finding its way in the lower level. Really, a, a part of the lower level that wasn't working before, it wasn't picking it up. Now it's working on the iPhone and the Pixel, and I'm very happy with this. All right, here's another test: 284 down and 24 up, 27 ping, four jitter, plenty good. Uh, <laughs> and we've seen this connection. You know, carry the mail for the SMT HQ when the fiber went down for about an hour. Uh, you know, doing all the TVs and everything. So it is great stuff. I am very happy. The 5G Ultra Wideband continues to get better here. Very happy with the performance. And I'm curious to see if you guys are seeing the same propagation characteristics. Uh, I know a lot of people want to see more, you know, um, indoors testing. And, and here it is, folks. I indoor test all the time. This is not an outdoor coverage band. Like... This is this is not just for like speeds outdoors. This this stuff gets indoors, propagates great. It's it's been awesome. Very happy with the performance thus far, and I expect it to get better. And as the channels widen, it's just going to get faster, right? Uh, AT and T is going to get faster, more breadth. They're going to build out and upgrade the network. Verizon's upgrading fast. I'm excited to see what T-Mobile does with this. Probably looking at next year, right? 2023, 2024. Once they clear their blocks of DoD and C-band. How it performs on their gear too very excited about the standalone cores that are launching in q1 and how they start to aggregate these channels very excited about all this you guys comment down below on your experiences and what you guys think of this testing i'd love to hear what you have to say you all the voice of the people the smt nation let your voice be heard like share and subscribe for more and turn on that bell notification icon and i'll leave you with some words of positivity as we head out of this video every new day is an opportunity to be great so go out there and be great. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Peace.